Nine months ago, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace for Lego. This woman said that she has a bunch of Lego boxes. And she put all these boxes just in a trash bag outside her door. I went and picked them up. She went out for free. It was great. Um, mm. all, all these boxes are in, like, beautiful condition. And it was just really cool to, like, pick up, like, someone's... It's always fun when you find someone's Lego. Um, and you just find, like, what was their childhood. But especially, like, a family's boxes. And you'll see as we go through this, we're talking about over 20 years worth of sets. Which is cool, you know? I mean, I, I love... I always love the stories, right? So we have a classic Spirus. And, um, and right here, I think, by far, one of my personal favorite sets ever... Um, and of course we have the classic flip up the box inside is you know the whole thing so great um, let's go through the rest we went with Explorians basic ships boring as anything not great we have the first B-Wing um, the classic B-Wing. This is always a beautiful set. Uh, 6086. Great castle. And, the you know, beautiful box art. All these castle sets at the time had the sun as, like, a central focus, interestingly. But, I mean, it's, they're just beautiful. Um... Going a totally different direction. Islanders, the the like the main base of the Islanders, which is such a cool set. Um, this is the original, not the Legends edition, but the original box. Great set. So you'll notice, you know, obviously this is this is late eighties. I think this is eighty six. Um. I'm I'm pretty sure because you never see these past eighty eight. I I believe these are in in eighty six, and that flag, very old. Um, but we got all the way up till you know another great, another great you know theme. Uh, the Rock Raiders. This is one of the flagships of that series. And going a little bit back to Star Wars. So the the first series of Star Wars had a lot, not a lot of these. But they had several, you know, two ships in one sets, which is, which I think is the coolest thing. And look at that part count. 407 pieces. Um... <laughs> which is like, which is baffling. And if you look at both sets, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and that Y Wing, they both look great. They're both great sets. A 400 piece count is crazy. Um, This is a. Next up is. Just a real one. Yeah. 6277, The Outpost. Amazing set. You get a really beautiful Imperial Outpost. You get some pirate... You, you have... What else can you say about this set? Right? I mean, you have a little pirate boat, big pirate boat. They're both coming in. It's a trading post. That's an amazing set. Transition to the Arctic base. Um, this was definitely <laughs> the height of late 90s, early 2000s. Not the best designs. Um, we look at that base. I don't know what's going on there. That tracker, the the snowmobile there, 
they've made within that same series much better versions of it. I don't know. Just it's just not great. Um but conversely The Explorian's Mothership. Very cool. Um and next up a highly a highly sought after set Fort Legorado ahead of its time nothing like this will ever be made again it's it's just a phenomenal set um and we and we see some of the play features that would dominate later themes and series it's just great um we also have the lunar launch site again of, of the uh spireus theme um one of my favorite absolute favorites and when i got this box when i realized i had this box it, it, i was very happy the fire breathing fortress the this is one of my first big sets. I loved it. Um, I love the little... If you look right here. They got a great deal on it. Down from $70 to $60. Um, but this is a great set. I mean, the, the brick-built dragon. The wizard. The actual dragon. All of it. Just very cool. And then, of course, one of my top castles, the classic Royal Knights, 6090. This is a good one. You get the Glow and Dark Ghost. You got lots of main figures. The Chrome Sword. It's a good one. Um, a lot of these I've, I've owned. However, this is one of the few ships I did not own. Um... It's a good one. It's it's a relatively smaller ship. And lastly, the last box that they gave it to me was bizarrely not may not bizarrely, but this really shows like the extent of this like family's collection. The UCS Thai. Is this the bomber? Thai interceptor. Um, did not expect that. Lego box art will always hold a special place in many people's hearts. 